Alright guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to another video here from us and today I just thought I might take you guys through our shoulder workout today you know we're officially three weeks out from the Arnold Classic three weeks out from actually about three weeks out from our last show Boston Pro so yeah I just you know thought we'd run due to our simple workout today a simple shoulder workout obviously where well, we're on rebound and we're still in our rebound phase of it we tend to try to keep things moving in terms of like we want to you know keep our training going but try to keep everything in moderation because of the water retention that goes around the joints and how prone and how easy we are to actually get injured during this phase of things where you're holding a lot of water around your joints and muscle aches and stuff like that so so today we're going to show you it's not going to be anything crazy but we're going to take you guys through a shoulder workout and show you where we are you know so one of the, also one of the things we like to capitalize on that I also realized obviously from last prep and rebound and going to last show was how much we can improve through the rebound phase and how you know I've learned from Milos to capitalize on the rebound phase of everything you know so that's what we try and do this time as well so we have four weeks of rebound eight weeks of completely having a rest and then we're going to start the off season after that but that's where we are at the moment so all in all I'm going to run into my shakes and what we're having as usual but I do for my intro workout as usual I like the blood shot and the intra our tree as I always do I always like mix them together one of the reasons I like to mix the blood shot instead of just having it right at the beginning of my workout is basically I know a lot of guys just have it straight in and they go to workout but I feel like when I put in my intro workout shake I'd have this steady release all through the workout not just at the end of it so I put a scoop in there and then a scoop of intra our tree as well yeah, it's worth mentioning that the dog has been prevented from entering the <laughs> kitchen because he's been very disruptive at the moment. Yep. So the noise he's making is because he's he wants attention. outside and not allowed in. <laughs> Always wants attention. So yes, yes. that's what I have. Get that nice. Good shake. Give it a good yep. shake. And that's my intro workout drink and now what I normally do with that obviously as we do is I then have my stack series added up to it so we have our creatine I put I put a tablespoon of that each in there tablespoon or teaspoon? Put a teaspoon of that in, in there you're very inconsistent citrine, with you citrulline tablespoon teaspoon you know what I mean teaspoon <laughs> no we don't teaspoon <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference between tablespoon and teaspoon teaspoon glutamine pico 2 and beta alanine now all these are the ones i have in my stack that i'm having through my intro workout i put a teaspoon or tablespoon into, into, no, no, no. teaspoon into into okay, my intro workout shake to keep it going okay and yeah and that is what i have as my intro mix and it's worked great it always keeps helps with that recovery and muscle growth at the same time so i absolutely love using that as a as my stack for my intro now what we talk about Post workout right now, especially with our calories going high, I have my ISO H1 for post workout. After workout is done, got two scoops of ISO H1 and custard dextrose. Custard dextrin in there, CDX. I have that. One scoop of this, two scoops of ISO H1, and that's why I have my post workout. Sheesh. And I have that with banana. So show us your banana, good. man. Show us your banana, please. I have that with my banana. I want to see your banana. Bam! My, my <laughs> mighty banana. Don't even go there. That's why. That I is a decent banana. That is a decent banana. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my post workout at the moment. Shoo. 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 that. Mm hmm. And. One CDX. Only one scoop? Only one scoop of that. Okay. So I got a non flavored one as well, so what happens is it doesn't interfere with my beautiful chocolate I have in my in my weight I said. Nice. And this is what I have around my work right there. Oh, they work absolutely great, beautiful mix for me and they're awesome. Absolutely love it. So we're gonna Get ready and uh, 
head off to the gym and we're gonna get this workout going. So let's do it. Let's go. Cool. Are you eating just before the gym? So, you know, I never go to the gym hungry. I never go to the gym with an empty stomach, man. I eat right before I train. I always do it because I don't like training on an empty stomach at all. So, I'm gonna finish this meal, get in the car and go to training. It doesn't regardless of what training I'm doing. I never go to the gym with an empty stomach. That's just the way I work. <laughs> gym and today we have a shorter workout going down and like I said you know we're not going crazy today because obviously we're in the rebound phase of obviously coming off the prep and everything else we don't want to go too crazy you know we just want to take it easy to sort of feel the muscles back out especially holding so much water so we're going to take our time with it so today we got our first exercise here one of the machine I like using simple check simple shoulder press and then we're going to go to hit some flies and then you know some rear and some front front delts as well but yeah man we're gonna get the ball going let's get parties out let's go I know people ask like, you know, why do I prefer using machines when it comes to some of the workouts compared to free weights? And my thing is this, man. I know with machines I can stay, keep on control in actually through the reps, range and the sets. And I have a lot less chance of injury from this part of it than anything. So anything that's an overhead press or something like that, that I know that you're more prone to so pull something out on, I tend to keep it with machines. But then, you know, heavier lifts, like flies and stuff like that, I go free weights and dumbbells for. But specifically during this time, where it feels so uncomfortable retaining water from rebound, I mean, it feels like your skin is pretty much stretching as you go, but I'm just so uncomfortable, you know. So you're sort of dealing with that in the midst of everything else. But we work where we have to, right? Yeah. Just completely let the body rest out for a week. 
and then the following week after that, we got four weeks of rebound, and basically we rebound, rebound phase. We basically want to get the body to sort of almost go back to that off-season phase, go back to a new stage of normality. I want to maximize our muscle building during the rebound because one of the things that uh, Spurkin Milos has taught, taught me, especially from last year, was how we can maximize muscle growth in the rebound phase. Now, it's something I never took seriously, something I never really put much interest in before, but after what we were able to accomplish last year, going from one show straight into rebound and then prepping again for another show, I managed to put on size in that. It's something I have to come to the fact that I have to believe in fully. So with the rebound phase, we basically supercharge that, you know, get our food high, get our training, keep our training in there, and so sort of put in as much size as we can through the rebound before we then have a full-on break for about six to eight weeks and let the body completely recover and heal but obviously what we put it through for the whole time with the pepper, pepper and everything else. So first and foremost is get the rebound phase over and have a full rest for a few weeks, you know, for about six weeks. And then after that we start the off-season. And with the off-season, my plan for this off-season as well. <laughs> What well, Milos' plan for this off-season was basically he wants us to hit 330 pounds. And already, after seeing my weight, just the beginning of this week, we're already on 295. And that's just after a week of rebound. So probably by the end of this week, I'll be 300 pounds anyway. And then, you know, coming towards the end of the rebound, I'll see where, where we land at. But then I see obviously got to come off and just rest up and let the body go back to some normality after that. And have eight weeks of, obviously, you know, just let the body cover. And then we start a proper off-season and see where we can actually push and make improvements and push our off-season weight to. But, you know, as the video goes, man, I'll sure to keep you guys updated on how we get on with that and keep you updated on the process on how we go through. But this is where we are at the moment, man. Just getting through the irritating part of uh, retaining water and feeling uncomfortable. I haven't found it uncomfortable tying my shoelaces. <laughs> All right.
so why are you struggling if you're not packing? Huh? Why are you struggling with Chinese? <laughs> What? Should you not take it easy? One, you know, even when, you know, with me, even when we say, look, take it easy, you know, don't push too hard, you know, train, you know, take your time with training, just easy into it. Uh, it's not in me, man, it's just not in my habit, man. I, you know, for me, it's, gym has always been my outlet. Being in here, I'm pushing to, to my max, has always been my outlet. So even when, you know, I've been criticized enough thing by my partner, and, and people like that, I say, no, nah, but if you guys said, obviously, like, you know, I should take it easy, I could have a day off and like, relax. That's why I say you should take it easy because you are dragging me to the gym every single no, day. No, not. You don't have to, no, no, no. I need a break. So this is my excuse to say, oh, you take it easy because, because you, you need a break. Because I need a break, not you. No, nah, man, I go full force all the time. This is what I know, this is all I do, you know. I only get so many time on this earth and I want to make sure that I maximize that to the best of my ability. So all or nothing, man, that's the hostile way. All or nothing. We do whatever it takes to make it to the top and that's the end of it. All right, let's go. Alright guys, so that's it for our workout today, nice and simple one, like I said, you know, we just gradually ease myself out after the, after the show, you know, we have the water retention and the, you know, the whole rebound set going on where it just feels, it feels extremely painful man, I look extremely uncomfortable, but you know what, this is what it is man, this is what we have to go through to capitalize on what we do, but yeah, three weeks post show, and from this point on basically, we just, we just, we just doing this, man. We're doing this, and we keep moving. And next up, you know, we got Olympia in December. So from now to then, it's just basically work as hard as we can, so we can bring a more improved physique for the Olympia. And that's what we can do, baby. So thanks from, from here, from hostile, from my place. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.